So guys, here we are, and we're about to taste some foie gras. But I seem to be surrounded by ducks or canard everywhere I look, and Chris is going to tell us a little bit more about what we're about to taste here. Well, welcome to it. This is Chez Paris, uh, and they are big producers of duck and uh, geese products. And um, they, they've been in existence since 1907, and we're going to try today a foie gras, which is um, half, we say mi-cui, half have cooked. We're going to try Riette, which has the foie gras in the center as well, and just the Riette Naturelle. Uh, they all have a different flavor and uh, very tasty, of course. And for, and for those world travelers just looking in, just tell us what foie gras is. Is it the heart or is it the kidneys? It's the liver. It's the duck liver. And uh, it's 100% uh, French. <laughs> uh, about 80% of the production is consumed in France, in fact, uh, although it does make its way around the world. So it's quite rich and... It's very rich. Uh, most people would produce or make their own foie or buy a foie and then make it at home for, fe for the major festivals like the Noel, like Christmas. Uh, but they eat it all year, in fact. But Christmas is a big time for, for the foie gras. Super duper. Let's get tasting. So, bonjour, Laurent. Can you tell us something about your cheese here? Okay, so we're going to get some lovely varieties of local cheeses from um, Basque cheeses to the various types there, Laurent described eloquently in French. So it's tasting time again. Yes, here we go. Yes, they're beautiful. I mean, we have lovely choice of nice farm cheeses here. These uh, two come from the interior of the Basque country. This one has been aged a little bit longer, so it have a little bit more uh, taste than the younger uh, cheese, which has been aged only four months. So guys, you can see what a hard life I have. I've just gone from oysters and wine to foie gras and now to some wonderful indigenous cheeses of the Basque region. Tough life for Charlie abroad. So guys, here we are doing a little bit of wine tasting and we're here with Jeremy from the Bordeaux region. And he specializes in a small family winery with white wines, red wines and especially sweet dessert wines. So maybe Jeremy's going to tell us a little bit about his wines here. Yeah, hello, hello everybody. Uh, sorry for my English. Uh, I'm just Frenchman, <laughs> and yeah, no, we are we are producer with with all my my family, with my brother too. We go to 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 make uh, for the future uh, other production, and there is my grandfather, my grandmother, and my father, my mother, and my mother and my brother. Every, all my family produce since after the war. So this is a true wine producing family and it's great to meet these local producers and I'm now about to taste one of Jeremy's lovely sweet dessert wines. But the problem for Charlie here is, busboy abroad, he's just picked up a brochure and all this wine ends up with this lovely word that we get in Ireland called gout. So that's where I think it's all going to end up but in the meantime I'm going to enjoy the wines.